Hiya Deepa, what are you looking at? This is my school picture, and a list of names. What are you supposed to do with that? My teacher has asked me to create this list, using HTML, and insert this school picture, as a background image. Jen, can you help me to do this? Sure Deepa. I will help you to create, different types of lists, and insert images in HTML. At the end of this unit, you will be able to Explain how to create lists. Describe nesting of lists. Explain how to insert images. Discuss how to insert an image as a background. Let's understand what a list means, and then see how to create lists. In today's world, we get all the information from Internet. But everyone is in a hurry, and most of us, do not like to read through many pages. Listing the information, improves the concentration of reader, and it also helps us to understand the concept easily. The list item tag, li, helps you to define a list of items. When you use, li, tag by default, the list will be shown as a bulleted list. Let us look at the working of, li. Take a look at the code. When you execute this code, you will get the output as shown on screen. Let's next look at the different types of lists. You can create the following three types of lists in HTML. Unordered list, ordered list, definition list. Let us first look at unordered lists. Unordered lists are the lists with related items, but where the order is not important. For example, you decide to buy a list of fruits at the grocery. But there is no necessity for the list to be in a specific order. The items in this list will not be listed, using number, or, alphabetical list element. By default, the solid bullet is used as list element. You can use the tags, shown on screen to define an unordered list. You can also specify, different types of bullets as list element, using the type attribute in the tag. For example, if you use the code shown on screen, in your program, you can see the list, using different bullets. The output displayed will be as shown here. Let's now look at the second type of list, the ordered list. You can define an ordered list using the tags shown here. Ordered lists are the lists, with related items in which the sequence is important. For example, you prepare your to-do list in an order of priority. The list items defined inside this tag will be numbered. You can use Arabic numbers, letters, or Roman numbers. You can use the attributes start and type to specify the type of numbering. The start attribute defines the value from which an ordered list should start. By default, ordered lists start at 1. The value attribute may be used on an individual li element, within an ordered list to change its value within the list.
The number of any list item appearing below a list item with a value attribute will be recalculated accordingly. Type attribute defines whether you want to use Arabic numbers, letters, or Roman numbers. Did you know? If you provide type equals 1, and start equals 3, the list will start from 3. Let's now see nesting of lists. Sometimes, you may want to show a sublist within a list. In that case, you need to use nested lists. Nested lists are the lists within another list. Let us learn how we can include a list within another list. Consider a program. In this program, we have included ordered list within another ordered list. You will get the output as shown here. We will now look at the third type of lists, the definition list. Definition lists are the lists where you can give the description of each item. You can use the DL tags for defining a definition list. For defining definition lists, we use the tags shown on screen, which stands for definition list term and definition description term respectively. We will see how to execute the definition list. Consider the HTML code shown here to understand the working of definition list. The output will be as shown on screen. By now you should be able to write basic code such as to use different font and color using HTML. Now let us learn to insert images to create an attractive page. You can use either JPEG or GIF images. JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group and GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format. JPEG is the best suited format for saving photographs and complex graphics. It gives 16 million colors, and it can store 24 bits per pixel. GIF is the best suited format for images with simple shapes, text, and limited color palette. It supports only 256 colors. Let's see how we can insert an image. You can use the tag shown on screen to insert an image in an HTML page. Let us now discuss the different attributes that you can use with this tag. You can use the attribute src to specify the URL, or the source of the image inserted in the document. For example, you can write the code shown here. Align Using the align attribute, you can specify the position of the image. You can use top, left, right, middle, bottom alignment options to place an image. For example, see the code provided on screen. This inserts the image in the top of the page. Use the border attribute to define the width of the border for an image. Height. You can define the height of the image using the height attribute. Width. You can define the width of the image 
using the width attribute. Alt. Suppose if you cannot display an image in an HTML page, you can use the Alt attribute to specify the text that can be displayed until the image loads. We now know how to insert an image. Let's learn how to insert the image as background image. You can insert an image as background image using the background attribute of the body tag. Consider the HTML code shown here to learn how to insert an image as background image. Look at the output shown on screen. Your image is now inserted as a background image. Let's summarize what we learned in this unit. The list item tag li is used to define a list of items. The three types of lists that we can define in HTML are Unordered list Ordered list Definition list the ul tag is used to define an unordered list. The ol tag is used to define an ordered list. The dt and dd tags are used to define a definition list. The three types of lists can be nested with each other. HTML allows to insert an image as background for a document. Good. You have learnt well. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.